Talk about the three metaphors that were just all over the place that these guys used in their writings. They put pictures of them. They talked about them. What are the three metaphors? Well, this really hit me my first year as a graduate student in Cambridge when I was studying the history and philosophy of science. As I read the primary sources of figures like Robert Boyle, the great chemist, or Johannes Kepler, the astronomer, or Sir Isaac Newton, they continually used these metaphors that were clearly theological in character. And one of those was the idea that nature is a, a book, or like a book. Yeah. Just as God has revealed himself through Holy Scripture, the, the, the book of the Bible, God has also revealed himself through the book of nature. And this metaphor implied, again, the intelligibility of nature. It's something that we could read and understand. Uh, but it also implied that there was a divine source. And so it also legitimated science as a separate realm of inquiry because if God had revealed himself through the natural world, there were some questions we couldn't answer just by reading the Bible. We had to look at the other book to, right. get the, to, to understand what he was telling us.